Is there more going on than just rivalry? The chess world is abuzz as Andrew Tate confesses his deep-seated hatred for legendary Garry Kasparov. What set off this ferocious hostility? Prepare for a mind-blowing journey into Tate's world as we reveal the startling causes of his severe hatred for Kasparov. Here we begin. Andrew Tate and his legacy in chess. Andrew Tate is a British-American businessman, former professional kickboxer and internet personality renowned for his self-assured personality and numerous lucrative endeavors. He was born in the United States of America to a British mother and an American father. Andrew Tate had developed a passion for the cerebral game of chess in addition to his business accomplishments and background in competitive martial arts. He has shown his commitment to the game by sharing snippets of his chess journey on social media even though he has not competed in high-level chess tournaments against famous opponents. Through these channels and his interactions with the chess community, Tate shows off his development as he learned from each game played. His chess career hasn't had any particularly memorable games or matches, but his ongoing quest for knowledge and mastery is impressive. Even as a casual player, chess has evolved into a natural pursuit for him as a person who constantly seeks out personal growth and intellectual challenges. Tate values chess's strategic and intellectual components because they call for concentration, forethought, and flexibility, all useful traits applicable outside the chessboard. If Andrew Tate's chess rating can be inferred from his online play, it would most likely place him in the amateur or intermediate players category, well below the level of chess masters or grandmasters. As they stand at the pinnacle of chess performance, comparing his potential rating to top players like Magnus Carlsen or Garry Kasparov would be significant. However, Tate's dedication to chess-related personal growth and improvement can be an example for other chess enthusiasts who play for fun. Garry Kasparov and his legacy in chess Grandmaster of chess, former world champion 1985-2000, political activist and author Garry Kimovich Kasparov hails from Russia. Before Magnus Carlsen beat him in 2013, his peak FIDE chess rating of 2851, attained in 1999, was the highest ever. The most consecutive professional tournament wins, and Kasparov holds chess Oscars. By defeating the reigning champion Anatoly Karpov in 1985 at 22, Kasparov became the youngest ever undisputed world champion. In 1986, 1987, and 1990, he faced off against Karpov three times to defend his title. Kasparov held the official FIDE World Championship until 1993, when a disagreement with FIDE prompted him to found the Professional Chess Association, a rival organization. When he was defeated by the IBM supercomputer Deep Blue in a widely reported match in 1997, he made history by becoming the first world champion to lose a match to a computer under standard time constraints. He kept the classical world championship until he was beaten by Vladimir Kramnik in 2000. He continued to win matches despite losing the PCA Championship, and at the time of his official retirement, he had the highest rating in the world, making him the unforgettable Kasparov. The reason why Andrew hates Garry Kasparov. Andrew was a passionate chess player, and he always wanted to make a career out of chess, but as circumstances weren't in his favor, he had to give up on his interest and shift himself to kickboxing. Even though he became a successful kickboxer, his love for chess didn't fade away. He was often seen in the media talking about chess players and, to date, loves playing chess as it is the only source that motivates him to move on in his life. Also, as his dad Emery Tate was a world-famous chess player, he found huge motivation in him. And chess was his world as a child. On the other hand, Gary is a professional chess player who has surpassed hundreds of chess records in history. In fact, Gary succeeded in the field of chess that he had badly wanted to pursue, but failed. Often, Andrew thinks of himself in Gary's position and regrets losing the fame Gary has, despite being excellent at chess. Andrew feels Gary took away his position. Also, people often compared his dad Emery Tate and Gary Kasparov to whose strategies were better, who dealt better with their opponents, and most of the time, the public took the side of Gary. This led Emery to have constant anger and hatred towards him, and no doubt it was passed on to Andrew as well, who inherently tried to compete and defeat Gary. This rage, anger, frustration, and revenge-seeking will later cater towards hating Gary. Although to date there are no instances of Andrew publicly hating Gary, the reasons behind the same are more than prominent enough for us to draw conclusions at, from their rivalry and hatred towards each other. So that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on them? Do let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.